Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the treehouse build. Today we're going to be going over the interior of the build. Last episode was the exterior, so if you haven't watched that already, I highly recommend you go and watch that now. Before we get into the video, remember to go down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell and like the video to really support my content. And if there's anything else you'd like to see me build, also comment that down below. But without further ado, let's get right into this build. Alright, first things first, I'm just choosing a point where my door is going to be. I'm just coming into the empty void inside and I'm just going to be getting some glowstone and putting that down because I know that I'm going to need it to be light in here whilst I'm working on it. After I'm done with this, I'm just going to be getting some dark oak wood planks and I'm going to be using this for the basis as my floor. Next on my to-do list is to get rid of all of this empty space underneath, so I'm just going to be filling this up with oak logs. You don't have to do this, but we will be using this space later for the chest room and enchanting room, alongside the brewing room. So my reasoning for patching this up is because I can just carve out where I want the room to be, rather than building in the walls. I just feel like it works better with my workflow, but your workflow might be different, and that's okay. Do this build any way you want. After I was finished patching up the basement, or wherever you want to call it, in the tree, you can see me starting to carve out the sides of the walls. This is just so that I know where I can delete blocks and where I can't delete blocks. This is so that I can add more depth into the walls on the inside, as I did for the outside. After I was happy with how things were looking on the bottom half of the tree, I started placing more dark wood planks for the next layer of my tree house. As you can see, I only bring it about halfway across the whole tree house, and then I make it curve around slightly. This is because I want a fence going around so that I can look down the tree house as well as up. I feel like doing this would add a lot more character to my tree house, and also means that I can make a central lighting point at the top of the tree house, and that will go down the entire thing instead of me having to tediously put torches and lanterns everywhere. After I finish with the fences, I just come in with some slabs and I'm trying to figure out a nice staircase around the side of the tree so that I can go up to a next level where my bed would be. After I've figured out this staircase, I do change the oak to dark oak. I did do a rookie mistake here, I made the slab so that I can't actually place a bed on them, but I do change it right here. After placing some nice dark oak fences down here, I'm calling this finished until another point in the video. Now you can see me breaking some holes into the tree, and no, I'm not trying to destroy it, I'm just trying to figure out some good places for some windows. I'm going to be using green stained windows, because I feel like it kind of goes with the leaves and the whole tree aesthetic. It almost looks like I'm camouflaged into the tree. I really do like these windows though, I feel like it makes it very cosy and that I would want to live here. And I would never want to live in a tree.
as you can see, the way we're doing these windows doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be symmetrical or just on one part of the tree. You can make it wrap around and it still looks quite nice. At this point in the build, I'm really happy with how my windows have turned out. And I'm just going to be going around the edges of the whole tree and adding a bit more detail with these logs. I did just do this earlier, but now that I've made more floors to the treehouse, I just want to make sure that everything works together fluently. Okay, and after I've added the detail with the logs, I'm just going to be doing the same thing with leaf blocks, just like the outside. It takes a bit of a creative mind, but you just kind of place them and then look back and see what looks full and what looks empty, and then you readjust and go back in. After adding this extended doorway, I'm just going to be adding some vines in, just like the leaves I'm adding detail. But also, I'm using the vines as a ladder for a shortcut to get to the bed. After I was happy with all of these vines, I started making a big cluster of logs in the middle. This is just meant to be almost like a wooden chandelier coming down. And later on, I'm going to be adding some lanterns to this to light up the whole room. After I was happy with all of the detail I'd put in, I'm just going to get some lanterns and start putting lanterns around to light up the whole room. Now the room is really starting to take shape, I'm just going to be grabbing some crafting tables and furnaces and a few chests. I'll be dotting these around the room just to fill it out a little bit more. After I was happy with the chest placement, I just start digging a staircase down. This is where the basement is going to be. I make the room 5 blocks by 6 blocks. This is where the enchanting room is going to be, alongside the brewing and chest room. After I've dug out the space for the room, I'm just going to be replacing the floor from dirt to dark oak planks. Following up from this step, I'm just going to be adding two lots of chests right there. And after that, I'm just going to get some stone brick in the corner, and I'll be adding a nice little variation of a brewing stand, an anvil, and a little bit later on, I will be adding a lantern next to that as well. Now here, I dig through the wall in between the chests, and I make a room two blocks in, and I make the room three by three. I put an enchanting table in the middle, and then I make the walls into bookshelves. I also make the floor dark wood planks to match the other room. 
And there you go, you have yourself a lovely enchanting room and also a brewing and storage room. After I'm finished with both rooms, I add dark oak slabs to the top corners of the room as you can see here. You can also do this in the enchantment room. I didn't do this, but then again, I didn't think of it at the time. I quickly run upstairs and grab some vines and I come down to decorate the rest of the room like I did upstairs. After I was happy with this, I run up and get some leaves and I do the exact same thing. After I was happy with this, I went outside and started looking at what door looked best. I decided the oak door was best for this build. Now onto the final stage of the build, making the path to my door. I wanted people to effortlessly glide up the roots of the tree so that there is no struggle for them to see the inside of my beautiful house. Even though I have finished the build, I had a quick idea to grab some lanterns and add some extra light outside. There's a nifty little idea I have here that you guys can also steal for your treehouse. In the midst of lighting up the area, I found a nice space where I could make a root in the ground and have a bench sitting upon it. I highly recommend just flying around your build after you're finished and adding things like this. It's the little details that really make the build complete. And there we go, the build is complete. I do add a lot of bone meal and trees around this to make it look natural, and let's see how that looks now. Anyway, I've been Dera Zero, and I hope you've all really enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all again for watching, and if you've made it this far into the video, please comment your favourite Minecraft mob down below in the comments. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and also like the video if you want to show your full support to my channel. Thanks for watching.